You know, uh, margarita to go. I mean, that was the go-to for our local bars and restaurants as we're fighting through this pandemic. But you know, when the pandemic's over, some lawmakers in Annapolis think that the bars and restaurants should should sell us alcohol that we can take with us to go. Not uh, not so not uh, not as many people as you think are on board on this. But Don Harrison is investigating what this new measure could mean. A lot of things have changed during the pandemic, and one of them is being able to use carryout as an option for not only food, but liquor as well. Now, some lawmakers want to make this a law. Senator Shelley Hedelman, representing Baltimore County, is the sponsor of that bill. We think it's been working well. There haven't been abuses that we've heard of, so we want to help the small business person as well as the consumer. As proposed, the bill would allow restaurants and bars to sell and deliver certain alcoholic beverages for off-premise consumption. This may be done if the alcoholic beverage is purchased along with prepared food other than prepackaged snacks. To make sure only those 21 or older receive the delivered alcohol, only licensed restaurant employees are allowed to make the delivery, not a third-party delivery service like DoorDash or Uber Eats. The Restaurant Association approves of this bill, but owners of packaged goods stores we talked to were not as enthusiastic about other businesses taking away customers that might use a liquor store. This has been a finely tuned compromise. Um, still got a couple of details to work out, but this is something that we've been working on together. Some liquor store owners understand the need for alcohol takeout to help the struggling restaurant business, but they would like to see the law go back to the way it was after the pandemic is over. The bill would allow the hours up to 11 p.m. and local liquor boards must give approval to the restaurants or bars. Those with the concerns about drinking and driving say this is just another way to make it easier to get alcohol in the car. There's which, which, nothing in this bill that changes any of the penalties around drunk driving. We need to hold people accountable who are abusing alcohol and getting behind the wheel. A similar bill will be introduced in the House as well. A hearing is scheduled for Friday the 18th. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR2 News.